Come join Paul and Mario at Diamond Hawk Golf Course Saturday, September 11th for the hashtag sports not so invitational. Come golf with these idiots in this four-person scramble, which will feature golf with cart, dinner, hole-in-one contest, silent auction, and a live show with all proceeds benefiting Matthew 25 Farms. Registration can be found in the description of this video. And if you'd like to sponsor, email us at htagsports at gmail.com to help raise money for this great charity. You? Are you signing up for that? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Hello fellow Bills fans, Sean Rogers, Realtor and lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes team. Did you know that real estate is one of the best ways to build wealth and right now is one of the best times to own an investment property in Arizona? Please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions so we can take the next step to your financial freedom here in the Valley of the Sun utilizing real estate. As always, God bless America and go Buffalo! Hey guys, what's going on? Well, another exciting day, shall we say. Uh, Buffalo has released some more players. Of course, this coming on the heels of the fact that uh, Gabe Davis, uh, Star Latulule, and Cole Beasley are all sent home. Um, it's just one of those things, right? They were exposed to somebody with COVID, so we're slowly learning, unfortunately, through experience, all the different rules the NFL has put in place regarding COVID protocol, but that's not why we're here. So we are here because the Buffalo Bills have released five players, and here we go. Tight end Bug Howard, who was just signed just a couple weeks ago. Tight end uh, Tyler Gaithier. I'm sorry, line, uh, offensive lineman Tyler Gaithier. Uh, Tyrell Adams is kind of the surprise here. Um I thought Adams looked pretty pretty good, uh, and that linebacker group isn't. I'm not in love with the linebacker group, so I'm kind of surprised there. Uh, Tariq Thompson, uh, safety and wide receiver Lance Lenore. Again, not a super big surprise uh, with the addition of a uh, running back yesterday uh, who had some kick return ability. Lance Lenore didn't exactly look great there. Um, so not really a surprise that they let Lance Lenore go at this point. But uh, here we go. And let's get into all the comments already seeing. Hey, there's Joe, a uh, member of Hashtag Sports, saying, hey, everybody, make sure to hit that like button. Button, please do make sure you hit that subscribe and of course join us for the hashtag golf tournament and every friday we have tailgate talk featuring apex and tommy uh they do a scheduled 7 30 p.m eastern standard time show every friday come hang out with us uh all right did joe sharp get cut joe sharp did not get cut he's just joined hashtag sports so that's where he is d wag it says tanner gentry survives uh, yes, another uh, another day. Tanner Gentry lives on this team, and uh, you know I, I think it's sort of a sort of a an interesting dynamic the Bills have in the wide receiver room because now that Beasley's getting sent home, now that Gabe Davis is getting sent home, the thought really turns to: Do you keep seven wide receivers on this roster? You're going to donate two of those uh, roster spots already to special teams. Right, you're kind of assuming at this point Jay Kumaro is going to make this roster as your sixth wide receiver. He's going to play a lot of special teams for you, um, but now you start having to have that conversation about kick returner, right? And you're looking at Isaiah McKenzie or Marquez Stevenson. You're likely holding on to a spot there, which means that a player like Tanner Gentry is slowly sliding to the practice squad as a possibility. Whereas before, um, with this wide receiver group as big as it was, still Brandon Powell. So there's some wide receivers still here, but Tanner Gentry falls into that practice squad conversation but again sort of the biggest news to me is tyrell adams so let's take a look at what that buffalo bills depth chart looks like obviously they have not updated the official depth chart on uh, buffalobills.com just yet but here is what we got uh you do have matt milano andre smith and joe gills harris i guess that's sort of the surprise for me is that tyrell adams went before joe gills harris but whatever uh tremaine Edmonds, tyler minkavich uh and marquel lee uh, are your remaining linebackers as of now, AJ Klein and Terrell Dodson uh, still here as well. So that's sort of your remaining list of who's there. Um, of course, rosters had to get down to 80. So this is uh, this is sort of the deal there. Tom Love says surprised by Lenore. I'm not I'm not really surprised. Um, 
that I'm not, I'm not with you on that one. Uh, I think when you take a look at how Kumaro's played and then the fact that they added a kick returner yesterday, uh, Stevenson and, and Isaiah McKenzie have been lighting it up from a return standpoint. Uh, I think you're probably pretty good with moving on from the reason you brought Lance Lenore in, which was which was probably for special teams duty. Uh, let's see. Juan Castillo, Adams will probably catch on somewhere, I would imagine. So I think he, I mean, he had, what, 100 tackles last year. I, he, I think he'll definitely catch on somewhere else. And again, early in the process, another team will probably kick the tires there. Um, and then there we go. Buffalo, New Yorker. Got a key touchdown, Jesus, obviously referring to Jake Kumaro. So these are your recent releases. Now, mind you, the Bills still, the, the way that this used to go was you had a, a large series of cuts that kind of ran through a series of weeks, right? Where you had 90 and then you had to get down, um, eventually down to 53. They really trimmed that down. It, it's going from 90 to 85 and now to 80. And the next series of cuts that we'll see is until 53. So, uh, we won't really know um, how many, or we won't really know who's going to make it until we get down to that final 53-man roster. Um, oh, geez, Joe, you scared the hell out of me. Um, Joe from uh, Hashtag Sports. Handle Believers Talk. Josh Allen on the COVID list. Don't worry, not that Josh Allen. Don't freak out on Twitter when you see Josh Allen. That's the defensive end Josh Allen, not the quarterback Josh Allen. Um, but again, it does bring into play a lot of the different COVID rules that we're all kind of getting used to. And it's interesting how you have players leave via COVID, right, for uh, for protocol reasons. Even though they tested negative, they were still removed from the facilities. That's the rules. Um, and then you still have to get down your roster to 80 players. And then now you don't have to do it again until you get to 53. Um, you may see some trimming along the way. Buffalo is not really immune to trimming the rosters a little early um, and just letting go some players a, a little early in the process, but they don't have to right now. Um, as of right now, they really don't have to do uh, much of anything else. Uh, they went from 80, uh, they went from 90 to 85. Uh, and now they're getting down to 80. So this is this is all the process, guys. All part of the process. The league has to do it. Everybody in the league has to do it. Let me get you the official deadline dates. Uh, for roster cuts uh, in the NFL. I don't remember the dates offhand, so I'll just pull them up real quick and we'll take a look. Uh, SK, here we go. Uh, let's see here. Official roster cut down dates. Uh, first one was August 17th. They had to go down from 90 to 85. Uh, August 24th, they go, have to go from 85 to 80, so that's what we're looking at here. And then August 31st, every team needs to go down to 53. So this is the last um, roster cut until 53, last official roster cut until 53. Uh, so we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. Jessica Tennis always coming in, saying the 31st is the final day for roster cuts. Again, they could come in at any time. They could come in days beforehand. Uh, Buffalo is not immune from necessarily doing that. There is sort of a uh, competitive advantage Um you know, in waiting at times, but also sometimes there's a competitive advantage letting some guys go early. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that happens. Uh, <laughs> Pepe, who is Bug Howard? Bug Howard 